there is a huge update from Claude, making it very easy for us to create AI agents. Now Claude agents can perform internet search. It can automatically save code to GitHub locally on your computer. We are entering into AI agent revolution. In the near future, there are multiple agents going to work for us, doing our repetitive task, save time and save energy. Imagine waking up tomorrow, all code reviewed, research compiled, data analyzed, and tasks completed while you sleep. That is the power of agents. With this Claude's new update, there is no code required. So anyone can start immediately with plain English commands and you can automate this 24 seven using model context protocol. And I'm going to make it simple for you. Previously creating AI agents requires deep technical knowledge, months of development and heavy investment. But today you just need plain English, five minutes setup and instant start. So what are we going to do? With just one command, we are going to perform multiple actions. We are going to create a website which requires searching the internet for relevant information, creating the code, creating a repository in GitHub, publishing the code into GitHub and reviewing the code. All done with just one command. Here is the repo which I created with one prompt. It automatically created the repo, the different branches, the code, the pull request and the issue. So the steps involved is to download Cloud Desktop, add MCP configuration, connect to your first tool. Just three steps. By taking action now, you are ahead of 99% of developers because they stop at this stage before creating AI agents, which can speed up their work. So you could have unfair advantage compared to others. And you could be a market leader by doing this now. I'm going to take you through step by step, but before that, I regularly create videos in regards to artificial intelligence on my YouTube channel. So do subscribe and click the bell icon to stay tuned. Make sure you click the like button so this video can be helpful for many others like you. So here are the steps. Step number one, download Claude desktop. So you can go to Claude.ai and download based on your operating system. Now step number two, add MCP configuration. So here is model context protocol servers. Here you got multiple options. So we are going to choose Brave search for internet search and GitHub to create the code and save it. So I'm clicking Brave search. There you can see the configuration for Claude desktop config.json. So we just need to paste this code in this file. So copying the code, open your terminal. I'm using Mac. So this is the path where your config file is. So you can just type code to open in VS code or cursor if you want to open in cursor. So I pasted that here. Now we need Brave API key, which you can generate from brave.com. There in the console, you have API keys and here you can add your API key and copy your API key. Now I'm pasting that here. That's it. We have added our configuration. Next, we need to restore the Cloud app. So I'm going to close this and now it is open. Now I can just type, give me latest AI news. You can see it's asking my permission to use the Brave search tool, clicking allow for this chat. Now it's using my own tool, that is Brave search tool, which is running locally, searching the information and giving me a summary. And this is super cool. To confirm if your tool is working, near the chat box, there is an icon like this, click that. Now you can see Brave local search and Brave web search. Two tools available. So we use Brave web search. Local search is for physical locations, businesses, restaurants, services. So we have successfully integrated the first tool. Now this agent is able to perform internet search and give you a summary rather than us going and clicking all those links. Next, we need to add GitHub. So getting the configuration, same as the other one. I will provide all this configuration code in the description below. So even you don't need to come and copy this from here. So I'm going to the Claude desktop config.json file. So there's another way to open this file. So in Claude desktop, there is settings, click on that. Then this window will open, click on developer. There you can see brave search is there. So I can click edit config and that will automatically open this file. Now I'm going to add the next bit of code here, just adding a comma. Now I've added, now I need to add a GitHub personal access token. By doing that, it can automatically save the code in GitHub, make revisions when required. It can revert back if any error happens and fix error with just plain English. So to create the personal token, log into github.com, then go to settings, then to developer settings on the left hand side. Now click on tokens classic on the left hand side. 
and going to generate new token. Clicking generate new token classic. Now I need to give a name, just saying Mervin Prison and just choosing this repo. That's all is required. Now generate token. You got the token here, just copy it and I'm going to paste it here. Now the whole config is ready. Now I'm going to restart Claude as before. Quit. Now it is open. So now if I go to the tool section and click on it, you can see apart from Brave search, I've got create branch, create issue, create pull request, create repository, and many other tools added. It's very easy to add tools like this. Now we are ready to create the application. So here is the task which I'm going to give. Search and identify key services typically offered by AI agencies. Use the gathered information, design and develop a comprehensive website using HTML and CSS. Create a new repo named Prazen AI Agency under username Mervin Prazen. Upload the initial website, enhance the website, open an issue, create a new branch, submit a pull request. So all these tasks, imagine how much time it'll take. But just with English language, I'm going to click enter. First, it's going to search the internet, allow for this chat. Now it got the information. Next, it's creating the repo, allow for this chat. Repo created. Now pushing the files with the HTML CSS code, as you can see here. Everything right from this app. That is the power of AI agents. Now pushing files to GitHub. Sometimes you might get some issues like this which this will automatically try to fix it. Now you can see automatically the repo got created, the issue got created with all the information, but I find one issue is that it forgot to push those files. So now I'm going to ask, try again to save those files in GitHub and redo all areas where you got errors. Now it's retrying. I can see Claude's response was limited as it hit maximum length allowed at this time. Because the code is too long, it's terminating here, but I can just say continue. Create or update file. Now you can see all the index files, style file with the pull request, dark mode. I can even merge this to the main branch and update the code. Also let you know, I tested this with a simple prompt without searching the internet, directly creating the web page, which you can see here. And it was able to create the pull request and I was able to merge that to the main branch. It also created the issue, everything done with one prompt. Just because it's basic, it was able to do with one prompt, but the more advanced you go, such as searching the internet and pulling all the information, putting it all together, which requires a larger context. So when you try some advanced stuff with more data, that's the time you might need to retry it again and again to make it work. I hope that will get fixed soon. As soon as the context size, that is 200,000 tokens, will get increased in the near future. Overall, I'm really excited about this. This is going to change the way we do things on a day-to-day -day basis. Considering you already like MCP, I've also created another video which tells you how you can create a custom MCP from scratch, a beginner's tutorial, which I'll put the link here and I highly recommend for you to watch if you want to integrate MCP or create a custom MCP by yourself. And I will see you there.